Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Geek in the Closet and today we are going to be looking at this DC Icons Batman figure by DC Collectibles. Now this Batman figure comes in this standardized DC Collectibles box packaging. If you're an avid collector of DC Collectibles figures, you will notice that this particular box packaging is actually familiar. The figure is clearly displayed right there together with his accessories on the side right there it says DC Comics icons right there Batman right here figure number one nothing going on on this side right here and all the figures available in this wave now here's a look at the DC icons Batman outside the box packaging and no oh boy I've been waiting for this figure for the longest time because it has been delayed over and over again and finally it had arrived in my local toy shop collector's hunt which I will be placing their Facebook links at the description down below so do check them out. Now of course before having a closer look at Batman himself let's have a look at the accessories that come together with the figure. So first off we have his grappling uh, hook thingy majigi right there. Uh, it's actually different compared to his uh, usual grappling gun right there because it's actually not in the shape of a gun or whatsoever and it's sideways so you can't really assume that he's I don't know you, you can't really assume that he's shooting this out because it's sideways it's a little bit weird but oh well it, it's actually still a cool accessory to have with uh, with this figure and <clears throat> of course um, it comes with this long string right there and this ball uh, at the end to prevent the string from coming out of this uh, grappling gun thingy-majiggy. So aside from that, uh, aside from the usual ball pack, he does come with this rigged um, piece right there. So as uh, aside from his uh, default hands, which is actually clenched, uh, which are actually clenched fists, he does come with these uh, slightly open palms right there. And uh, of course, th these are actually for the two batarangs that come together with this figure as well. So, right here, which are actually pretty cool, you know, made out of a, <coughs> a, 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 a um, hard plastic right there. And it fits okay into his hands right there. You can't really um, have him hold the batarangs at the tip of. of uh, the, 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 the tip of the batarang right there because it's actually pretty loose so what you're gonna have to do is push the whole thing into his um, arms like so there you go and um, so basically uh, this pops off like that and as you can see and then you just pop this back in like so and it fits perfectly right there now here's a close look at Batman himself and uh, before I get on with the review I've actually been um, getting a lot of mixed opinions when it comes to these um, DC icons action figures and unfortunately a lot of them are actually complaining about uh, these particular figures when it comes to the height and it comes to the articulation and whatsoever and I believe that most of them are actually comparing these these are DC icons figures together uh, to, with um, Marvel Legends and unfortunately I don't think that that's um, I, I won't be actually comparing these DC icons figures with Marvel Legends because if you've um, actually noticed when when it comes to the marketing and whatsoever they've actually explained um, uh, they, they've actually provided a comprehensive uh, um, explanation of why uh, how these these uh, uh, which we call it, these figures are articulated and whatsoever. Uh, it, it, they did come up with a chart as well to explain uh, where are the articulation points and everything like that uh, when it comes to these DC icons figures. And I believe that if, if um, I, I've actually immediately noticed that the articulation points are totally different compared to uh, Marvel Legends, and uh, they they've actually come up with. Um, a uh, what you call it a petition as well or, or, or some kind of a research they they, back, they were actually asking they were actually mentioning as well that uh, uh, in order to increase the articulation they would actually have to sacrifice when it comes to quality so uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing the, these uh, DC icons wave uh, figures are actually uh, placed in the middle whereby they did not sacrifice a lot of the quality when it comes to the sculpt and everything uh, but um, they did. They did um, <clears throat> sacrifice a little bit, a little bit of the quality, 
because uh, if you notice of all the uh, articulation, uh, the, 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 the joints and whatsoever, you, you, you will notice that there are significant differences when it comes to this line and, and, and the DC collectibles line. Um, so take, taking a closer look at the figure itself, I, I believe that um, I'm actually pretty okay with this figure. I'm, I'm, I like this figure. Uh, however, it, it, is it like the most, the ultimate Batman figure out there? Oh, obviously not, because all figures have, have, um, have their problems and whatsoever, and uh, including this one as well. But, uh, but having a closer look at the face sculpt and everything, it's actually pretty gorgeous. I love the the, uh, the face sculpt and the, the you can actually see like a little bit of a, a tone de uh, skin tone definition right there the muscle definition on his on his abs right there very nicely done you will immediately notice that um, you know <clears throat> the plastic that they use are actually a solid plastic compared obviously if you want to compare with Marvel Legends you will immediately notice the difference when it comes to the quality right there um, uh, you can actually see like the glossy plastic on his uh, uh, gloves and then the sort of like a matte uh, look on his on his uh, armor uh, on, on his suit right there uh, beautifully sculpted uh, belt utility belt of his right there pretty cool you know it's actually made of a hard plastic right there very very nice of course his bat underwear and then uh, moving downwards nothing much going on uh, similarly glossy uh, plastic used for his for both of his boots right there two peg holes at the bottom bottom of his feet I love how this uh, this cape turned out very very cool it's actually flowing slightly to the left right there very very nice so I guess next we move on to the articulation now in terms of articulation Batman is able to move his head left and right this is where one of my gripes comes in because he's not able to look upward at all unfortunately and downward nothing nothing there as well that that is a little bit of a bummer his hands however are able to move outward that much he does have a bicep swivel right there he does have a double hinged elbow which is pretty cool does that have a glove cut is that a glove cut nope there's no glove cut right there it does come with a swivel on his wrist and a hinge on his wrist right there um, this is one of my gripes too because uh, his 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 uh, hip joint uh, no no sorry this is not his hip joint this is his uh, ab joint right here it's not exactly an ab crunch or whatever it's actually supposed to be an ab swivel but unfortunately it doesn't really do much which um, you know <laughs> it's not it, it yeah that that's that's a bummer too it doesn't really do much right there he does come with this there's a weird hinge on his uh, uh, on his waist right there at the bottom of his uh, uh, abs right there as you can see which does not do much at all as well he does not come with any waist swivel which is not cool he can do the splits this much he does not come with a thigh swivel as well he does have a double hinged knee and a boot cut right there. He does come with a hinge on his ankles and ankle pivot. Now to give you an idea of high tiers, look at DC Icons Batman next to its counterparts from SH Figure Arts as well as DC Collectibles. This is the Great Capullo Batman right there. And as you can see, both figures actually tower over the DC icons Batman right there and huge look at Batman next to the Marvel Legends spider-man figure now overall I find this Batman figure a decent figure it is not the best Batman figure obviously because uh, he does come with his problems and um, uh, some strengths as well what I really like about this figure generally is the fact that he's not really fragile compared to like a lot of the other DC collectibles figures that I have um, the joints and whatsoever I, I, I'm less worried for them uh, for, for, for for all the joints to break off or whatsoever because it's actually you know uh, less fragile compared to a lot of those figures and um, plus you know I can see like a lot of potential in this wave of, uh, of action figures and uh, yeah and uh, I cannot recommend this figure, unfortunately, because um, it really depends on your preference of the of the um, of, of 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 action figures that.
that you're actually looking for. If you are more accustomed to Marvel Legends action figures when it comes to the articulation when whatsoever, I believe that you won't be able to enjoy this figure as much. Um, if you're an avid collector of DC collectibles and you want to see a change, a, a twist in, in the line of action figures, then yeah, maybe, maybe uh, this line would actually uh, suit your taste better when it comes to that. So I really hope that this review may assist you in your purchasing decisions and uh, once again thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Do check out Collector's Hunt in the description down below and I will see you next time. Peace.